All right, ladies and gentlemen, another day, another attack. Uh, joining us now is Chris Tanto Peranto, retired U.S. Army Ranger, uh, former U.S. security contractor in Benghazi, co-author of 13 Hours, the inside account of what really happened in Benghazi. There it is on your television screen. And uh, Chris, welcome back. Uh, we had that horrific uh, shooting at the uh, museum in Tunis. Now museums uh, here in New York City have been put on high alert. Um, and, of course, uh, ISIS claimed credit. Um, to me, it doesn't matter if it was ordered by ISIS or if it's just ISIS sympathizers. I mean, how long before our luck here runs out? Uh, I don't think it's much longer at all. Uh, you know, it, and it's, it's hard to give you a definitive answer, but it continues to get closer or it continues to, to uh, increase the attacks in some of these countries. I think because we are more, we are portray ourselves as a stronger country, not a weaker target, even though we're not as strong as we used to be, that it's going to take a little while. But they're honing their skills. That's what they're doing. They're hitting these easier places, and they're just practicing and practicing. And it's going to come to us eventually. Jeez, I wouldn't be surprised if we had something come in the next six months. Would it, would it help or hurt or not matter if the president of the United States, let's make believe it wasn't Barack Obama, because I can't, you can never even imagine in your wildest dreams it coming out of his mouth. But let's imagine that the president of the United States uh, had stood up already or stood up today and said, if you, anybody who comes here and, and does anything on our soil, we will track down the genesis of that and anybody who supported them in any way, shape, or form over the internet, with weapons, training, you name it, and you will incur the full and utter wrath of the U.S. military and you will be destroyed. Uh, and then he actually followed through on that. Would that yeah. matter? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That would definitely matter. You've got to be strong with these people. You've got to be strong with your words and your convictions. Now, when I say words, there has to be some, some integrity behind those words. There has to be some emotion, some, some real angst behind those words. But then the, the key to that is you follow through with it. And that's what they respond to. You threaten them. All right, we're going to get you if you come hit us. And then you actually go take them out. And you take them, you, you, kill, you kill their leadership or even kill their minions, wherever they are at. And, yeah, of course it would stop. That's what they respond to. That's so you, they, so you're saying when you predict, you know, uh, you predict, when you say it's possible within six months uh, something uh, Tunis-like would happen here, uh, if the president came out now or next week and said just what I said he should say in just, though, you know, with that emotion, which he's never shown, uh, you think that that would push back your timetable or? I, uh, yeah, definitely. Just from my experience, and I don't think people understand, yes, I was in Benghazi. But I worked overseas for almost 10 years prior to that. And I worked for a year after in Sanaa, in Sanaa, Yemen. So I, I think I have a little bit of experience going up against terrorists or going up against terrorism or living in these areas. And they respond to a heavy hand. They don't respond to the nice and easy. They don't respond to the, to the hearts and minds. They don't. Not the terrorists. They don't. You have to go and you have to take them out. They hit you with their fist. you got to come in. you got to hit them with your car. That's, that's how it is. The, uh, the uh, Select Committee on Benghazi has just asked uh, the, today the, uh, the, for the Clintons, for Hillary Clinton to release her server, turn over her emails uh, to, to, to a third party. Um, you have any hopes that this will uh, you know, actually happen? Uh, there, she'll turn them over eventually, but they'll be scrubbed. They won't have everything on there. That's what the delay is for. Um, if, if there wasn't a delay, well, if we would have got them from day one, I'd feel pretty good about it, but it, what's it been, oh, two and a half years later, and now they're still delaying getting them to them. They're getting scrubbed, so no, there won't be anything of value. Are you talking it. about the servers being scrubbed? I, I think any emails, that, and I'm not a computer guy. Okay, not, that's what I was going to ask you, because I don't know how you scrub the server, well, but... I, I think, I, bro, I, there are, I'm sure there are ways there's with people a lot smarter than me, and it, you, you've got to believe that they plan for this as well. You've got to believe that there has been some planning uh, to, if this happened, this is what we're going to do to make sure that she is not found to have any responsibility with what happened in Benghazi and, and there being no response to and, and Chris, are you and your comrades, your friends, your people who you know, served in Benghazi and who are concerned, are you going to do all you can do to fight against uh, politically, oh, yeah. against her being, uh, becoming president? I, I am. I, I definitely will. I, you can't have a leader with no integrity. Um, we've already seen 
how that's kind of portrayed so far, and we can't have it. it. It's a scary thought. So yes, I will continue. I continue to speak out. Um, I try to maintain some some of my military bearing, so I'm not getting uh, too outwardly uh, too outwardly angry when I speak. But but yeah, I, I I'm very I'm very much against her becoming president. All right. Well, Chris, great to talk to you, sir. Have a good weekend. We'll speak Thanks. to you soon. Thanks, Steve. Have a great day. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Chris Tanto Peranto. Up next, the uh, co-founder of PJ Media, Roger Simon, and he asked the question, what would it be like if Hillary were president? And he asked more questions, too. We'll have them all coming up next. Don't go away.